Hi there, in this video I'm just going to sh show you all about redistricting using the redistrictor tool. So there's a couple of things to do really, well one main thing, um, before you get into the redistrictor and that's you have to imagine that you're, you're breaking up this area. So I've got these selected Leicester postcards, these aren't all of them, I've just I've just manually um, just, just selected a few. Um, and what I want to do is kind of break up the this into particular districts uh, using colours, so a bit like a thematic map, uh, to say, okay, that these this lot are this district, that lot are that district, and I'll keep it something simple with a code like A A A B A C and A D. But they could be the names of salespeople, for example, or or um, name of uh, I don't know fire station. Uh, it could could be anything really. So. As I'm going to allocate certain postcodes, certain boundaries to a district, I need somewhere to store that information. So, under the table, literally, under the table tab, go to table, modify structure. Uh, I'm working with these Leicester postcodes, and I'm going to add, I'm actually going to add two fields. My first one is going to be my area, or actually, why don't we call it my district um, code? And it's just going to be two characters and that one I'm going to, I'm going to call this leads um, and make that just a small int so it's just going to store a bit of some numbers and um, the idea is that that's some numbers to play with to help me break uh, down th this whole area into districts again as I do it you, you'll, you'll see what I mean but I want I don't want to just geographically click on stuff as I see it I want to use some numbers, some statistics to help me create my districts. When you alter a, a layer of, um, in map info, it removes it from the current map view. So you just need to sort of drag it back into your map. I'll get rid of that other map. Uh, let's just make this a bit more viewable. Uh, let's make it big. So let's just browse this. So you can see how I've got this my district code which is empty, my name of postcode, my district code is empty, and I've got these leads. I, I want some numbers to play with. So I'm gonna ran I'm using a randomizer to to populate this leads file, uh, column, sorry. So I click on update column and I want to update the uh, Leicester postcodes, column to update is leads, so it's this, which are all zero at the moment. And you can see I've I've already done it before. So this R and D one star one hundred. So so that's where it's gonna randomly uh, create a number for you and it's going to go between basically between naught and, and 100 so which is all I want so that R and D1 star 100 will give you naught to 100 random that might be useful for you press OK and you see how it's put all these numbers in for us so let's just do a save okay so we've got some nice sort of random data now if I click on here and click I'll have Ellie for one leads 37 and that one leads 46 so maybe they're from a marketing company or something that, that supplied these leads double glazing or something insulation and then and then these are uh, the name of the postcode but district code is empty so how do we populate the district Redistrictor, new redistrictor window. We're working on the postcodes, that's fine. The district field is my district code, so that's empty at the moment. And when I, when I look at the data, um, I want to see what the code is, i.e. A, 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 B, or whatever. I want to see what the count is, number of objects in there, and what the color is used is. But I think I'll bring across the um, sum and actually we'll keep the window simple let's just bring across the um, percentage of leads that's been allocated to um, we move it up that's been allocated to a district and we could calculate percentage based on some um, I, I'm just using the column total but it could be some uh, more complicated expression so um, the district column is fewer than four characters wide um, when adding districts that that's fine because the um, uh, I am I, I know I know that 
um, sorry, continue. I know that because I'm keeping a very, very simple district code uh, just for the purposes of this demo. So but it's just warning you because it could automatically create district names for you. So if I double click on districts browser, it'll pull the window out. And then if I just hover over that left hand one, it'll lock it into the left. There you go. So there are no districts at the moment. So we create them. New redistrictor, add district. My district is called AA. Let's add another district called AB. Let's add another one, AC, and add one more, AD. Okay, so I'm keeping it very, very straightforward here. But um, sometimes it's easier to do things simply like this. So you can see how it's got a percentage. So at the moment, there's 100% um, unallocated, i.e. star, 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 and there's 46. So there's 46 of these boundaries unallocated to a district, and that comprises a 100% of the leads. Fine. So let's allocate. I'm going to click on AA, and maybe for, for, for other people it's like, I don't know, northern sales territory or something. But there'll be some definition going on. But I'm just going to select AA, and then I'm going to uh, click on the ones I'm interested in for AA. Now watch what's happening in the browser on the left as I click these objects. You see how it's added D6 uh, and I'm, it's almost 15% of the leads. Let's do a bit more. 19%, uh, how about that? Let's leave it at 25%. So then once we're happy with that, say assign district. So now it's gone green, which is AA. It's got 11 postcodes in it with 25% of the data. In this case, my made up leads data from that random function. If I click on the green, I can change the color to whatever uh, I like if I'm not um, happy with, with that one. Actually, I am happy, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's go to AB. Let's say AB is more sort of westerly. So that's almost 10 percent. Oh, it goes quite far right here. Where is 17? 21 percent. There you go. Why don't we just leave that? Redistrictor, add district. Let's do. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You see how I, um, I I clicked add district? Then that was the wrong thing, wasn't it? I want to delete D6. So whatever's selected is what gets, um, I, meant, I meant to click assign district, not add. So it, when I click and select, so I select all these ones down here. So that's 15%, 17, get a bit closer, 21, can we do 22, 23, 26%, there we go on that one. But I could, you know, put it into any of these and reset the sort of target uh, just by clicking on these selection handlers. And that's why it's important to appreciate what's going on here. So I'm shifting them from one to the other. So I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to do what I meant to press, which is assign district. Now they're blue. Let's quickly do AC. I mean, I, I'm, I'm using using this sort of standard, you know, single click tool but but these are just selections so where are we 18 let's do uh, 20 oh, that's plenty let's do assign and then do the last one the yellow now what you could do here like i said it's selection is just do a little sql statement i mean why um you know do any more clicking i know the rest of them i want to put an ad so what you could do is go to simple select and as you can see I've already I've already um, done it before um, let me remove that for a second so it's Leicester postcodes assist and it's not I am saying it's going to be empty um, where there's nothing in my district code press uh, press ok 
So this is where there's nothing in my district code. Press OK. And you see how it's selected the remainder and assigned it, and it's worked out at 18.5%. It's not too bad. So let's sign. So now we've got everything allocated. See, there's nothing left in the pot at the top there, in unallocated. And the uh, and, and all of these colors, all these districts um, assigned. So, we, and we could do some trimming here because we could say, what if um, we give uh, a couple of these from AC into AD, so purples into the yellow. So yellow remains the target and we select, see? Or we take that one away, I think. So now we've just sort of tidied that up a bit and actually um, we could, let's assign. So you see how we've, we're balancing out the numbers. Eight, but if I if if it's important to us, actually not these numbers, but actually it's more of a, this count of what's been allocated. Maybe it's a number of postcodes, number of areas. We may say, well, that fifteen is way too high. I mean, look at AD; it's only got nine. So why don't we try and balance out between AB and AD, and just sort of bring it, uh, make it more fair in geographic coverage. You may want to balance out the actual count rather than the, the numbers to make a sort of fairer spread of geography, let's say. But um, but so you, you can play with that. The other the other option here on um, um, the, the, the redistricted window is actually the set target. So you specify the selected objects district as the target district. So we say I'm interested in uh, that, which is blue. So I'm going to set target. So now every time I click, it just goes into blue. So it's really just a different way of selecting from the browser in this sort of drop down, um, you know, in, in the select um, box um, boxes down the left hand side here. It's just a, you're working for the map or you're working for the browser. So um, what what happens next at the en at the end of all this? Well, let's, let's um, close the redistrictor window. And let's use the info tool and click and you'll see how my postcodes are now populated I can open a browser and you can see how my district code is all populated if I go to redistrictor again and say new redistrictor window and click on my redistrict code and press OK I'll leave the other fields and just continue. It'll create what's um, what, what's already been done before. Let's just close that for a second. Because what it's really doing is a sort of dynamic thematic um, creation. Because while I'm on this, I could go to add theme. I could select individual, region individual, uh, 101 options, but We'll just go with the basics and shade postcodes by my district code. Just ignore that. Go next. Press OK. And lo and behold, you get a thematic. And that's what redistricts, redistricting is doing. It's dynamically sort of creating your thematic based on uh, the various um, stats and numbers that are of interest. So anyway, uh, I hope that's useful to you. Uh, thanks very much.